And Chris, um, Chris Bond here with his guitar. And how did you did you find out about it on Facebook, or how did you find out I, about this? Um, it was actually a good friend of mine. Um, who's also the uh, bass player in the band I'm in. Um, he forwarded me the event, I think, through Facebook, and I, I saw it, and it kind of, that sounds really interesting. What a cool idea. Mm -hmm. And I, I sort of marked it and kind of set it aside, and it just kept spinning around in the back of my head, and I'm like, you know what? I got I to gotta look at that. <laughs> so I wrote a song. I actually wrote two songs, but the, the first one didn't cut it. It wasn't what I wanted to say. I think that's so. the way you have to do it. You have to write two songs. I, that's, uh, um, and I, it works better that way. And then I sent it in and was, I guess, uh, fortunate enough to to be part of this. I think it's an awesome idea. So, you know, you write two songs and you have to judge them yourself. And what, what, how do you do that? How do you decide one is better than the other one? Um, well, the first one, I guess I just wrote lyrics for, and it was, it, it ended up being sort of a, I didn't think it was universal. It was more a story of my, uh, my parents and my family. And I, I didn't know it would, didn't think it would translate. Mm -hmm. And then the other one was, is, uh, well, I'm not going to give it away. You know, we got as many teasers here as possible. But uh, the other one I thought had a little bit more broad appeal. Just, so. just a little teaser. Just a little teaser. Broad appeal about what? Um, well, it's about how we got here, really. <laughs> um, no, but it's uh, where are it, we? It may, it may have, it may have hints okay. of our current. Uh, you know, okay. Okay. Hints of our our current political situation, for okay. instance. Well, that's uh, that's understandable. Um, Chris Bond here, and, and what? Tell me about your band. Uh, we're called Wheeler Station. We're a, a four-piece, straight-up electric rock band. We have you know a bunch of originals, and uh, and we also cover cover songs, uh, sort of songs you don't know by artists you do. You know, we tend to not do the mainstream sort of stuff. Like which artists? Um, pretty broad selection. I mean, influence-wise, we tend to be influenced a lot by say. Grateful Dead, mm -hmm. um, Rolling Stones, uh, that type of genre, but Talking Heads come in there, you know, random songs that might be relatively current might pop up, current artists, so it's, and we have a little slightly morbid tradition of covering a song of whatever famous artist may have died, and I know it's morbid, but it's more of an, it's more in honoring that person than it is you know, so suddenly right. there's a George Michael song. You know, who ever thought we would have played George Michael? I don't that's, know. That's great. That's great. I love it when, when bands do unexpected songs yeah. like that. Uh, well, how, you, you want to play a song for us? Sure. Um, I'll play one that's uh, uh, sort of a kind of a little slice of life, I guess, story, and uh, more like reflecting on what's important. Um, it's called uh, it's called the Arizona Song. This is uh, Chris Bond. He is part of the What If. Everyone in Rochester wrote the same song. It's a week from Saturday on the 11th at Hochstein. time ago when searching for the truth left my friends and family and everything was cool I had my girl by my side an adventure in my heart took a job not far away it seemed a place to start ahead of time but it wasn't really me that I met they couldn't wouldn't take me naturally just about a year it was when lightning struck again well we traded New England for a hundred and ten was a warm town welcome there was blue sky everywhere we didn't choose too wisely 
We've forgotten that we care And if you wander outside of yourself For too long Well, you might not find your way home Trying to get it back. I'm in a home that's mine, and I'm glad to be back. Well, a new life's on the way. It's in her and it's in me. I can feel the air I'm breathing, and I'm knowing when I see. I wandered off, but thankfully not too far. When I Tripped upon myself and I, well, I picked up my guitar. That's Chris Bond playing for us live this morning. He is part of the lineup for What If Rochester All Wrote the Same Song on November 11th at Hochstein. So, do you get a chance to play acoustic guitar? You always play electric with um, your band. Once in a while, acoustic. I mean, once in a while, we'll do an acoustic duo sort of thing. Mm -hmm. I do most of my writing, I would guess, acoustically. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, some songs work. I get a bunch of songs that never make it into the band because it just doesn't, doesn't work. And then sometimes I get surprised, and one that I thought was a mellow song suddenly starts blowing the doors out. <laughs> so <laughs> oh, you love it when gonna, that happens. And our, and our band is just—I mean, we're we're longtime yeah. friends, been friends with these guys for you know 30, 30 plus years, and uh, we know each other really, really well, both musically and yeah. our little quirks. And so they'll they'll take your lovely little love song and then t rip it inside out, right? Crank some distortion just, up just, and suddenly things get weird. Let's see how we can play with this song. <laughs> exactly. It's good fun. Do you get a chance to go out and play solo? At, at, I've at actually church? never, and the only time I've played solo really is uh, um, just at some open mics mm -hmm. and, uh, well, and, and a whole bunch of different campfires, you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, sounds like the name of a song right there. It, it, mark that down. <laughs> the next year's song, something like that. Okay, I want to say thank you to the a couple people just logged in and bought tickets on Broad Paper Tickets. I'm monitoring here, and uh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Wow. You won't be sorry. Real time. Real, real time. <laughs> Real-time radio here. Uh, right. Something I can never do, but I'm glad we have someone who can do that. Chris, you want to do another song? Sure. Um, yeah, this tune, this was one I that uh, we play in the band, um, and I don't usually play acoustic, so it's... Uh, we'll see how it works. Um, I changed my mind a little bit coming in this morning. The weather is uh, very Rochester today, if you notice. <laughs> very in November. Rochester. And uh, this song is really just about where we live and I thought it was appropriate because of the day and um, we're about to what I call it going, going behind the gray the name of the song is Behind the Gray mm -hmm. and what's the name of your band again? Wheeler Station Wheeler Station yes Wheeler Station okay Chris Bond Summer. 
summer's coming and the blooms are popping, but the snow is stopping. The shorts from coming, I can feel the air and it's getting tired of being brisk like it has something to prove to me. What's it gotta prove to me? Up in New York, no, not the city. There are people chilling and they're getting pretty. I can hear the trees and they're getting ready to strut the stuff just like Carmen Miranda right on to the park. Going right on to the park. Like it's like it's some big secret. It's just sitting out there, cause that's where we keep it. I can see the sun as it flicks its light bulb and moves its arms just like it thinks it has them just behind the gray. Hiding just behind the gray. Cause you know that's what we like Feel the heartbeat as it Keeps the time And we'll be back again For a, another ride Well, another ride For another ride Another ride Just another ride Another ride just, just behind the gray. It's, it's Chris Bond playing live for us this morning. He is part of the uh, What If Rochester Wrote All the, if all, of, all of Rochester Wrote the Same Song. And uh, it should be interesting. I'm trying to imagine the song that you wrote now. It's great hearing, you're hearing have, the you're stuff. You're going to have to come. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to have to come. I will have to come. And um, how, did, how did you approach it? How did you approach this, the, uh, the task of writing to a title like that? It's a it it's a good question. I mean, as I said, it took you know. So I wrote the the more personal one first, and mm-hmm. it just didn't take, and I couldn't figure out how it was gonna come together musically. Um, the second one, it just it was more it was kind of stream of consciousness. I didn't know what was gonna happen until I started writing it, mm-hmm. and I started writing it, and then I had sort of a sort of a rhythmic pattern in my in my not necessarily a melody, but 
pseudo melody but more rhythmic canter to it and yeah. just the words just started coming and uh then i sat down and noodled on my guitar and fairly simple song structure you know and it just came together and i liked it so yeah i, I like that stream of conscious writing i i like it when you sort of that the, the song leads you somewhere yeah yeah exactly it's great well looking forward to hearing it again uh saturday november 11th at hockstein and you can find out more about it we'll find out from and thanks chris thanks for coming in uh, uh, thanks for having me it's